Alrighty, we are now out on the range with a VP70M. So, what I'm really curious about is, first off, what is the rate of fire like on this gun, and how does that work with the trigger pull? Because the trigger pull is absolutely atrocious uh, on this gun. And what I'm hoping is that in burst mode, that's kind of ameliorated, like the, the stiff trigger pull is made up for by the fact that you get three rounds out of it. Then I'm also really curious to see what sort of group do we get with a three round burst. So I have a paper target at 10 yards and we're going to go ahead and try shooting some bursts on that and see how they go. So let's get started with a little bit of just semi-auto fire here. Uh, we actually have a dueling tree. Let's see if I can hit anything on the dueling tree in semi-auto. Semi-auto. Well, it's not too bad, despite the atrocious trigger. All right, let's see what happens in three round burst. I'm going to try and get that top plate with one of them. Hmm. All right, so, um, not so successful with the burst. Let's go ahead and put this uh, burst thing on paper and see what I'm actually getting with it. All right, our paper target there is at 10 yards, which is pretty much exactly the same distance as the dueling tree. But now we can actually see where these are gonna hit. By the way, I have an 18 round magazine, which means in three round burst, I get six trigger pulls. All right, all three on target. I think I got two of those. Two or three of those. All right, that is 18 rounds total fired. Let's see what we've actually got on that target. All right, I suspect I can do better with almost any other full auto shoulder fired firearm. But uh, we do have, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 16 out of 18 rounds on target there. And I probably should have stopped the camera to show you guys, but typical burst dispersion would be like this one, this one, this one. Kind of one in this bottom group, one in the middle group, one in the top group is what I was actually seeing when I was shooting. And you have to hold tight onto that thing, uh, or else it just, you get one and then zoo over the top, as you saw two of my rounds actually went. So, all right, I tell you what, we're going to do a quick comparison. Let's see how this compares with an MP5 at the same range. All right, so this is totally cheating because this is a way better gun, but I have 18 rounds loaded in this bag. Exact same distance, exact same target. Let's see what uh, what we can do with a proper submachine gun to put the VP70 in proper context. All right. So I actually put 19 in, but I've got 19 rounds right there with the MP5 compared to 16 out of 18 in this group that is like three, four times the size with the VP70. So I think that pretty well puts it in context and that maybe shows some inkling of why the VP70 was not such a successful pistol.
Also, the creditors, if they would have all kinds of... Well, thank you guys very much for tuning in and watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. These are, of course, very scarce guns uh, to find today. They made a couple thousand of them, but not a whole lot of them actually got over here to the United States. So I'd like to give a big thanks to HK for giving me access to this awesome VP70M, not just to show you on video, but also to come out here and shoot. And also a big thanks to TrishaCon for uh, allowing us generous use of their shooting range. Thanks for watching.